Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my first taste test video of the year and as you can see from the title I decided to do new in at Asda. There are a few items that I really wanted to try that are exclusive to Asda hence the reason I'm doing it today. I actually feel like I haven't done one of these in such a long time and there is a lot of new products on the market at the minute. I've got a lot of things to try today so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I'm super excited to try some of these things so let's see what I've got for the first item. I'm going to try the M&M almond bar first of all because I'm most excited for this one so I love the orange one I think it's like crispy caramel is it and the blue one the normal crispy one so I've got high hopes for this one They just get this so right. I was literally, <laughs> I was laughing at myself then because I was just eating the whole thing. I didn't want to stop for air, but the bits that they put in it are like not too big, <laughs> not too small. It's like, it's, they get it right every time. Really enjoyed that. Definitely would buy that again. I mean, I, I don't really need to explain it, do I? It's literally just almonds and chocolate with M&Ms. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to try is the Fibre One Cookies and Cream. So this is only out in Asda, I believe. Why do they do that? Like, it's really annoying when they, like, don't let them out in any supermarkets. Because I only bought one pack in case I didn't like them. Because they are £2.50. Oh, they've got a strong smell. Smells like the Oreo cereal. Okay, it's got some crunchy bits in. I'm not keen on that, but... The flavour is kind of artificial. It's really not nice. Don't like that. I'll finish the box, but I definitely won't be rebuying these ones. Let's do something savoury. These are barbecue Dairy Lee Dunkers. And I love Dairy Lee Dunkers. They're such a good low calorie snack. I love barbecue stuff, so I have high hopes for these. Fuck's sakes. It's good. Also, why did I do that? It's finally snowing in Essex. We have snow. And it's starting to settle a little bit. What the hell is wrong with this? Why is it not opening like a normal thing? They just look a bit more orange than normal. And uh, the cheese is the same. It's just literally the sticks of barbecue. They're not your average barbecue flavour. Like if you imagine barbecue crisps. They don't taste like any barbecue crisps I've ever tasted. Taste? Tasted? But I really like them. I'd buy these again. They're not as nice as the originals. Not the, like, the jumbo stick. The ones that look like... What do they even look like? Oh, I don't know more. But I definitely would rebuy this flavour. And I'm definitely going to finish this pack after this video. <laughs> Lipstick check. So the next thing I've got to try are the Rice crispy Squares. These are salted caramel pretzel. And if you know me, you know I love salted caramel and pretzel. Maybe I like it. It's okay. Definitely not as nice as the original. I don't know. Maybe it's one of them things that will grow on me. But at this point in time, I'm I'm not really excited by this. So I'm not going to recommend it. Oh my god, the snow is proper coming down now. Do you guys want to see? No, I'm really going to be able to see. Let's open this. Can you see it? It's like a blizzard. Nice bit of bird shit on the window. So the next thing I have is passion fruit Jaffa cakes. And as soon as I read this, I thought instantly, Palm Star Martini. I think I like these. They're actually really nice. I'm quite surprised by that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> my describing words, I, I, you know, it tastes like a Jaffa cake with passion fruit. <laughs> I actually really like those. If you like passion fruit stuff, then I think you'll like these. So, would I buy them again? I don't really buy Jaffa cakes, but if I was to buy them, yeah, I'd probably buy these again. I think they're quite nice. Nice to have a change, you know? Let's do something savoury again. What? KFC crisps. I'm assuming these are not going to be nice because I haven't seen these anywhere and surely everyone would be going like kind of crazy for KFC crisps. I don't know. It doesn't smell too great. Oh, they are spicy. Oh. 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 They're very hot. I'm not getting any KFC. 
It doesn't say anywhere that it's going to taste like chicken. It just says KFC Zinger. <sighs> Jesus. They're spicy. I'm tempted to carry on eating this. I don't know what's happened to me. I'm obviously a spice queen. I don't know if you saw my video of me and my brother and he gave me hot sauce in Nando's and usually I get plain and it was spicy but I ate the whole burger. No more coolmas for me. I'd definitely buy these again. I'm also gas that I like something spicy like let's freshen the palate. One thing I didn't get for today's video is alcohol and you guys know I like to taste test alcohol. Let's do some dark chocolate next. Dark Aero. They've also brought out dark mint, but they didn't have that. They only had the plain one. And as you guys know, I have a recent obsession with Aero. And I feel like after I went vegan for a week and I was eating a lot of dark chocolate, it's probably a good time for me to try it without going... Because you know when you haven't eaten dark chocolate in a while and then you have it, the initial taste, you're like... And then, it, well, for me personally, then I end up liking it. I wonder if this is vegan, guys. Probably not. No. Got a shitload of milk in it. Sorry. Oh no. Just realised I haven't got one vegan thing for you guys. <gasps> Sorry. Very nice. Tastes just like you would imagine a dark chocolate aero to taste. It's just the texture. The texture's great. Not as creamy as the milk chocolate one though, that's for sure. Anyway. And then let's go with the opposite end. How small are the bags getting now? Well, to be fair though. They're making the bag smaller, but then it actually probably just stops people from complaining that the bags are half full. So anyway, these are the Milky Bar cookies and cream. Oh, they're good. Oh, that one was soft. Oh, there's two types of filling. Either crunchy cookie or a creamy one. Mm, they're good. Little pellets. And it's a surprise. You just don't know what you're going to get. I really like them. I'd definitely buy them again. They're better than having like buttons. All right, so we've got five things left to try. Let's try a biscuit. You guys know I love lemon. So this is a lemon drizzle flavour biscuit. I don't know, do I eat anything that's like lemon and chocolate? So it just looks average. Very strong. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't know if I like it though. Like the lemon's really strong. Not too strong, but like you can really taste it. So... You know, sometimes when you have these things, you can barely taste it. You can really taste it. Uh -huh. I don't know. Would I buy them again? No. This is probably a good biscuit to have to um, stop you from going overboard and eating like 10 of them. But if you're a lemon lover, I would say to try them. I'm like, do I go and get a snow pick whilst there's snow? Who's going to take it for me though? I have a feeling these are exclusive to Asda. Maybe. But these are white eggs. Now they look pretty just like plain, but when you read the description, they've got hazelnut creme filling. So cute. Oh my God, this is gonna be good. I can feel it like, oh no. I don't know how I feel about that. It's very like nutty. It's not like Nutella-y. It's a very strong hazelnut flavor. Don't know how I feel about that. Don't recommend them. If you're like a, a, a nutty person, I literally say this about when I'm describing stuff. If you're this person, if you're that person, if you like the sound of these, then try them. Wouldn't repurchase. I'm gonna stay on the hazelnut theme. Chocolate hazelnut Kit Kats. I haven't even seen anything about these or heard that they've been launched. But usually when I eat a Kit Kat, I bite all the edges off and then bite the top off. I won't do that. Maybe I just don't like hazelnut. These are okay. I don't know, am I being too harsh? Would I buy them again? No, I'd prefer the plain ones. The hazelnut is over flat, flowering? The hazelnut is overpowering the taste of the chocolate. Therefore, it's not that sweet. So the next thing I have is the final savory item. And again, these are spicy crisps. These are flame smoked chorizo. So it says a punchy cured sausage flavor with a smoky streak of propeat. Paprika. No. Paprika. Jesus. It just seems like all the crisps they're bringing out at the minute are spicy. The other ones they had of these were the spicy, um, what is it called? Pringles. But I saw Matt and Emma try them in their video and I probably would have gone for the sour cream ones and they didn't really rate them. So I thought I'd give those ones a miss. I've never seen these before, but obviously they're new. Mmm. They don't smell spicy, but they, oh, 
sorry, but how can anyone say that there's a better crisp than a McCoy? There's not. Oh, okay, so they're not spicy. Oh, mmm. So I think that the fire pit is relating to something smoked, you know, like a barbecue. Because the flavours are barbecue rib, didn't see those, or peri peri. Because it doesn't actually claim anywhere that it's spicy. I just assume because the fire pit, they're very nice. I'm not sure about chorizo, so they just taste like a barbecue one, but imagine smoky bacon, but smoky sausage. They're very nice. Really enjoying them. I would definitely buy these ones again. They're really good. The final thing that I've got in today's video, which I hope isn't like a milkshake, is ice cream. Now, I went to two separate Asda's, and I don't live near an Asda, to try and get this. So, this is probably my most sent item I've ever received on Instagram. Ben and Jerry's have brought out a ice cream with sprinkles in it. They didn't have it at neither of them, so that's great. But, Hagen dazs have brought out a new one. £4.50 later, and this tub is tiny. It's smaller than my other tubs, because I've got a lot of tubs of ice cream in my freezer. I picked this one because it was chocolate and strawberry. And you know I love a fruity flavour. Ooh. Because it's, oh, it's a strawberry crunch, so it's got like... Okay. Let's do a, let's do a taste from each. Oh, this is perfectly melted. This must have been out for like half an hour. Oh, do you know what I've realised it basically is? Oh my god, I don't really like chocolate. Why the fuck is it dripping all over me? Okay, let's try the flavours together. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I don't really like... I always go for like a vanilla -y ice cream, but that's so good. So, yeah, I would probably just say this is like... I'm going to have this all around my mouth. I would just say that this is a luxurious what is it called neapolitan something like that i probably butchered that <laughs> you know the stripy one that you ate as a kid where it's like chocolate vanilla strawberry with chocolate chunks in and no vanilla it's very nice but i wouldn't buy this again why wouldn't i buy it again um i just wouldn't i don't really know it just takes me back to my childhood really okay so that is everything i've got for today's taste test i've got two favorites the first one are the kfc crisps really like them and the second one something sweet are these i would 100 percent buy these again they were really nice i like them Okay, so I'm going to end today's video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Please let me know in the comments below what supermarket you would like me to do next. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.